Welcome back to Let's Play Warcraft with Zorondin. This is going to be episode 4, and let's hop to it. Alright, we are going to run right over here and turn in this first quest. I did just get into Brill uh, from Undercity from the previous episode. So we're going to return to Morris, get some free experience and money there. And actually, we are now honored with Undercity. I don't know if it's honored or... I think it's revered that you get the cloak on. So, uh, not... Cl or, not cloak. Bag. That actually might even be exalted. I don't remember. Whatever. Let's head, uh, west here. And go turn in this quest to the Putrid Task. I guess that's the quest, not the, uh... Person I'm turning it into. Whatever. Time to move out. And, uh, if you guys missed last episode... I did pick up the Inherited Cape of Black Baron and the Dread Pirate Ring, both of which are BOA items, of course, uh, giving me an additional 10% experience. So, definitely getting a lot of experience now. I think I am at, let's see, we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% gained, and uh, if I find a nice guild, that might get me even more. Uh, for now, I just haven't bothered to join a guild. Obviously, as I've said many a time, uh, I do have high-level characters on this server, but they are alliance side, so I don't really have anybody horde. That's partially why I chose to play this guy, because I want to get a horde level, a uh, high-level horde character on my server. So, turn in the putrid claws here, and uh, all right, 50 quests completed achievement. I actually should have uh, turned that in earlier. I thought I had to turn it in on Brill. So, unfortunately, I left. What do we have to do down here? Uh, let's kill some Scarlet guys. Ooh, that is a uh, that is a big bat. I don't think it's a... It is a rare. Let's take it down and get some uh, loot, maybe. Shouldn't be too much of a battle. These rare spawns aren't usually too tough. There we go. Easy enough to take him out. What do we get? An Imbued Pioneer Cloak. That would be useful if I had not just gotten myself the BOA. Unfortunately, I did. But, I am going to swap out my old BOA. I'm always going to keep a backup of a few items, simply because I do have other characters that use some of these BOAs, so I will occasionally mail them away. Thus, I uh, want to have backups, so I don't have you know empty slots of armor, because that's the worst thing you can do. I never want empty slots of armor. All right. Oh, I should uh, probably turn on track more m m m minerals. Is it say minerals? Yeah, minerals. <laughs> Since I got mining last episode, I am going to be mining if I see some copper. Um, I'm never going to really make a huge pull of it. I'm not going to go ore farming on video. You guys don't want to watch me farm ore, I assume. You can let me know if you really want to see me farm ore. I, I'm pretty sure you don't want to see that. Uh, so obviously I won't be doing that. Um, I'm also probably doing engineering. Uh, so that I also won't be recording me working on. Uh, but obviously I'll have maybe some of the trinkets or dynamite, things like that to be using. And of course augmentations when I do get higher. Such as rocket boots and other things in that nature. Parachute cloak. Uh, so engineering gets a lot of fun in the higher levels when you can do those augmentations. Uh, but for now, it won't be too useful. And there's level 9. Very nice. Getting close to 10. So close. Uh, obviously, it won't be terribly useful now since I got the BOA bow. I won't need guns from it. I won't be able to put scopes on my guy. I guess I could, but I've got a really nice scope on there right now, even though it doesn't activate till 70. I probably put, put some lower level ones on there just to uh, buff up my damage a little bit at the lower levels. We'll see. It depends if I care to or not. I guess I probably should considering I... This is my only hunter now. My other hunter is out of BOA range so there's no reason to not do that. So actually, yes, I am going to do that. Now, do I need to get in this box? You used to have to get in this box. Doesn't look like it. Maybe one of them will drop a quest starter item. No? No? None of that. Oh, I'm finally getting linen. I haven't... I've been getting linen for a while. I haven't been paying attention at all. I need to pick up uh, first aid. Get myself some band-aids. Need to kill a missionary. There's one. Why not kill two? More XP. 
take him down pretty easy. And like I said a few videos ago, things are still going down pretty dang easy. Uh, the BOA stuff makes you pretty overpowered at the low levels. Once we get to about 20, even 30, it starts averaging out a little bit better. And uh, we won't be such a dominant force on the battlefield. And that'll make things a little more si exciting, I think, once I am not just a uh, hammer. <laughs> An unstoppable force, I guess, is what I was trying to spit out of my mouth there. Either way, it's all good. Moving on. Um, I think I need more blood, though, don't I? Yes, I do. And so let's find some of these demon dogs and whatnot. I still remember way back in vanilla, I was playing my Gnome Warlock probably only two or so months in the game. And I came all the way up here just to enslave one of these demon dogs. And it was the first uh, demon I had ever enslaved with my Warlock. Uh, now you of course notice they aren't demons anymore, they're considered beasts now. Which also makes me wonder, can hunters tame them? I'm gonna guess yes. I, I don't actually know that. Uh, so again, if somebody knows that, let me know. And of course, we're gonna be doing a adventure to get a tameable pet uh, probably next video. So I'm gonna need some comments on this video of ideas of, of pets to go tame. Right now, my thoughts have been uh, the spotted leopard, I believe it is, from Dune Moreau, the dwarf area. But uh, anything in the 10 to 15 range, I want to go get a hunter pet that is somewhat rare for Horde. So, obviously it has to be low level. I'm not looking for a level 60 pet. So, something like that, that would be uh, pretty cool, I think. So, let me know what you think on that, and we might just, uh, I might just choose something else. So, again, comment on what you think would be cool to tame. Oh my gosh, that's a proto Drake over there. I didn't know what that was for a second. I'm going to run back into town here and uh, start turning these in. And uh, I think the next batch might go up here north into the Undead Knoll area. That area is always kind of cool. It's the only... I think it's one of the only places in the game with Undead Knolls. Yeah. I don't know where else there would be any. So that's always fun when there's a unique thing around. War Chief's Command. Uh, we're not going to Silver Pine just yet. I might bug out a Brill a little early, or the Trisfall Glades, simply because we're going to be leveling so fast, and I want to do all of Silver Pine. In fact, I think I'm going to go to Silver Pine right now. Why the heck not? Uh, the Silver Pine area is really cool. It's a great quest uh, storyline, and um, since it's given us a quest to go there, I, I, I'm saying I'm going to go. Why the heck not? It's already too easy, why not try and go somewhere harder? So, I'm going to turn in these few quests here, and uh, we're going to go do that. In the meantime, we're going to give this dwarf some poisoned ale. He's going to probably choke on that pretty bad. Oh, terrible. I kind of like dwarves. Oh, well. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, not going to pick up that quest. Going to run down there and grab that quest. Uh, might as well. And then we'll... Spin on over and start up in Silver Pine already. Uh, again, though, this is just going to be a bunch of running here. So, fast forward. So here we are starting to enter Silver Pine. You'll of course notice there are plenty of dread guards walking about um, some structures for the Forsaken. Obviously this is a very heavily controlled area. It's kind of the front lines for the war against Gilneas. So there's plenty of buildup and aggression and all kinds of good stuff going on here. It gives it a very interesting feel. There's in fact a what appears to be a flock of bats over there. So, I mean, there's just a lot of dark dread, kind of a dark mood about the area. And, of course, you will notice the uh, Etten here guy. Uh, that is actually a cart you can ride. Uh, he will take you down to uh, the Spielcher City, which is uh, it's a nice little path, mount 
ride thing. Uh, and it's it's a nice flavor because it's not your typical just, well, take a mount down there and uh, a flying mount and ride that. Anyways, we're going to move over here and uh, you will notice that their Grand Executor Mortis is here as well as Lady Sylvanas herself. So we're going to turn in this quest here and we're going to start the adventure of Silverfine Forest. I think Hellscream's going to come in, so I'm going to let the little Where thing go on here. Ah, speak of the devil. This better be important, Sylvanas. You know how I detest this place and its foul stench. Why have you called for me? And more importantly, what are those scourge fiends doing here? Warchief, so glad you could make it. With the death of the Lich King, many of the more intelligent scourge became... unemployed. Those fiends, as you so delicately put it, are called Valkyr. They are under my command now. And they are part of the reason that I asked to see you. Get on with it, Sylvanas! Very well, War Chief. I have solved the plight of the Forsaken. As a race, we Forsaken are unable to procreate. With the aid of the Valkyr, we are now able to take the corpses of the Fallen and create new Forsaken. Agatha, show the War Chief! This doesn't seem uh, to bode well for anyone else who's not Forsaken on Azeroth. A uh, new Forsaken just seems bad. Oh my, look at them all. What you have done here, Sylvanas, it goes against the laws of nature. Disgusting is the only word I have to describe it. War Chief! Without these new Forsaken, my people would die out. Our hold upon Gilneas and Northern Lordaeron would crumble. Have you given any thought to what this means, Sylvanas? What difference is there between you and the Lich King now? Isn't it obvious, War Chief? I serve the Horde. Watch your clever mouth! Bitch. Whoa. Chromosh, you stay behind and make sure the Banshee Queen is well guarded. I will be expecting a full report when next we meet. Speak, friend. Remember, Sylvanas. Eventually, we all have to stand before our Maker and face judgment. Your day may come sooner than others. And, uh, that is why Silver Pine Forest is so cool. There's a good deal of uh, major story plot going on here. So, the next thing to do is we are headed all the way to the Gilnan Liberation Front. Or is that right here? I guess we're right here. We are on the Gilnaeus Liberation Front, I guess. I'm gonna grab the flight path here, and there are two more quests over here. And then I'm actually just gonna go into the field uh, just to hit level 10 and pull out. Because again, I am gonna go get the pet at level 10, so I don't want to get extra XP just yet. So I'm gonna run over here, and grab this one from her. That, uh, we need clean beast guts. And from this one, we need eight ferocious doomweed. I guess that's uh, worse than gloomweed. Doomweed does sound more deadly. Uh, either way, let's uh, move over here and kill us a few frickin' Morgan. Uh, they're making it things difficult for the Forsaken here. Take them out. And, uh, we're not, probably not going to keep. Yeah, need to kill too many to level up here. There is a. Doom gloom weed. What are they? Doom weeds. They're doom weeds now. And I'm actually noticing my W key is getting worse. 
I uh, again I'm ordering a keyboard tomorrow it won't be an issue anymore there we go are they they're taunting them after they die that's amusing very nice touch no oh, stop moving I'm not even targeting it anymore are there flowers coming out of it are the worgen druids or something what was that well oh, okay I don't that was very baffling Maybe they had uh, pockets full of posy or something. Whatever. Take a, this one down. I should level on this one. There we go. Boom. Level 10. Obviously, you see quite a bit new stuff pop up there. Uh, finally have a Dismiss Pet. Uh, that would have been useful for the Murloc a while ago. Move that over here. What else did we get? Obviously, we can now control our pet, which is very nice. That would have been useful as well. Uh, beast lore. Move that down below. I never use beast lore. Tame pet. We're going to leave up here because we're obviously going to be using that. And we now got serpent sting as well. Uh, so that is pretty much going to do it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to go tame a pet. I'll choose my talent spec as well in the next one. I'm thinking Beast Mastery for now, but we'll see. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode. I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, please do thumbs up and subscribe so I can bring you more World of Warcraft content. I am, of course, Rondon, and I'll see you all on the other side.